Good afternoon Floss Tube and um, welcome everybody back to my channel. So here we are, it's Saturday afternoon um, in the UK. It's not a very nice Saturday afternoon. It's really muggy. Um, it's very, very overcast. In fact, it's black as your hat outside. I think um, it's very likely to rain very shortly. We have had a little bit of rain this morning. Uh, they are forecasting a thunderstorm, so hopefully that will stay away while I am making this video. So hopefully there'll be no interruptions or anything from flies or dogs barking or, or any of that, which is what we had last week. So my video today is a little bit different. So this is a floss tube extra rather than my usual um, update. So I did say that I would do um, a bit of a chart parade and um, show you some of my PDFs. So that's what we're going to do today. So um, I've collated them all together and it seems really strange to be sitting here talking to you and, um, and not have 10 tonnes of stuff around me to uh, show you because it's only been a week since um, my update video and um, and I wouldn't have a lot of stitching to show you after only a week. I've only worked on a couple of my full coverage pieces and um, I've done a bit of work on my Needlework a Home Cell that I'm doing with Ali Stitcher. So um, this time all I've got as kind of props and I'm not going to show you those because um, I'm just going to insert pictures when I edit this video or well, that's the plan anyway. We'll see how that goes. Um, so all I've got with me is um, some notes that I've made, uh, my iPad and my um, Android tablet that I have Pattern Keeper on just to kind of remind me as we go along of what the pictures look like because obviously I haven't input them yet so you can't see them at the moment. So um, so like I say, welcome back. Uh, for anybody new, this isn't, like I say, my normal video. This is a little bit different today. Um, so yeah, some of you did say that you would like to see my PDFs. So, and I'm very happy to show them to you because, you know, any chance to talk about cross stitch, I'm there. So, uh, so here we go. So, uh, the first one that I'm going to show you, oh, and by the way, these are not in any particular order. So, you're going to get a bit of a mixed bag here. So, there's going to be some full coverage. There's going to be some freebie charts that I've picked up along the way. There's um, some kind of quite cutesy designs. There's some um, traditional samplers. Honestly, I have a real mixed bag. And it's kind of as they were really on my iPad or my Pattern Keeper that I've kind of put them in. What I haven't included, I haven't included any of my PDFs that are currently works in progress because you see those um, every time I film anyway. So these are all the ones that you wouldn't normally see. So um, the first one that I'm going to show you is... Um, this one's called Victorian Doll's House and uh, and I'll, I'll pop the pictures in as we go along. I'm not going to keep saying and here's the picture of it. You know, you'll just you'll just see it as they go. So this is Victorian Doll's House and it's by Leslie Tear or Tear. Um, and I bought this one from CreativePoppy.com. It is charted in DMC and there is... Um, some gold metallic thread in this one as well that that um, you are advised to use um, and it is 129 wide by 210 high and the reason I bought this one um, it was one of the very first PDFs that I bought actually I, I like houses um, I'm, I'm not so sure now about stitching them, which is probably why I haven't started this one. And I, if I'm really honest, I don't know if I ever will. Don't know. Um, I do like it. It's got quite a lot going on in each of the rooms. It's got quite a lot of fractional stitches in it um, and quite a few blends as well, actually. Um, and at the time, 
I when I purchased the chart I didn't uh, I didn't really know what they were so I kind of put it on the back burner and um, and never got round to starting it so whether I will or not remains to be seen we shall see so that's Victorian Doll's House so moving on to uh, the next one and, and the next chart that I bought I did buy this one at the same time as I bought the Victorian Doll's House chart So this one is called Spring Garden and it is a modern sampler and it is by to Tiny Modernist. Um, it's the only chart that I've got by Tiny Modernist and don't get me wrong because I, I really do like their charts actually. Um, again, I got this one from uh, Creative Poppy. It is um, charted in DMC. Um, it's 113 wide by 156 high. And the reason that I bought this chart um, was because I love gardening. I absolutely love it. So when I saw this chart, I thought, oh, you know, this is quite up my street, actually. So, um, so yeah, so that's why I bought that one. So I'm just going to flip um, the pictures over on my iPad so that, because I, I use a mixture of GoodNotes and Pattern Keeper um, for my PDF charts. So although um, I was watching um, Darren the Dizzy Stitcher, his update last week, and he was saying there's a new app out now for, um, for Apple, um, which is almost exactly the same as Pattern Keeper. I think he was doing a bit of a test run on it to see how good it was and whether, it's, um, whether it is the same. So I may start using that as well. Although I love Pattern Keeper and, um, and, and in a way I like having all of my, uh, or a lot of my charts that are obviously Pattern Keeper compatible on a separate, um, a separate tablet to my iPad because I use my iPad a lot to watch Floss Tube. So I can, you know, have my Pattern Keeper on the go and still watch Floss Tube. So it's a win-win really. So yes, yeah, so so that is um, my chart by Tiny Modernist. Okay, so moving on. So um, some of you that have been with me um, a little while now will have seen this next chart, but I haven't started it yet. So this is a full coverage piece and it is called The Card Game. It is the artworks by Chris Dunn and it is charted by Pain Free Crafts. So um, I, I do like this chart and at, at the time this was um, a toss up between starting this one or Feast and I kind of, I put it to the vote for my viewers and you guys overwhelmingly chose Feast actually but a few of you did choose Card Party. Um, and I am going to stitch this at some point. I, I just want to stitch all the Chris Dunn's really. So let's be honest, I, I love them. So, um, so yeah, Card Party is, um, this is 50 colours. It is 270 wide by 350 high. And overall it has 94,500 stitches. So it's not massive to be fair. In fact, it's probably one of the smaller charts that I've got so you know it's doable in the, in the future so so yeah so that's the card game so um, we're going to flip to something a little different now so this time uh, I'm showing you this is Clarissa Beaumont 1875 so here we have a traditional sampler and this one is by Little Robin Designs um, and you can you can Google Little Robin Designs and they have a um, their own website. Uh, I saw this chart I think Mama Loves You GB may have shown this one um, and I thought oh yeah I like that um, and the reason I liked it was it's got animals in it I think find it now now that I want it want to look at it just to remind myself I can't 
find it hang on one moment yeah so this one I liked it be because it had got um, a cat and dog on it and uh, it's got some butterflies and, and just generally speaking I just really liked uh, I really liked the whole chart and I, I thought oh it's from a designer that I haven't used before so it would be nice to um, try something for somebody different um, so so yeah I do like it it's a, like I can't remember if I told you now it's 137 wide by 190 high this one and it is charted in DMC so um, so yeah so that's Clarissa Beaumont uh, and yeah I do really like that and I am definitely going to stitch that at some point right the next one is um, the first of my heaven and earth designs that I'm going to show you so and this one is going to be my next hay start actually um, I'm, I'm planning this one may well be a new year start for 2022 because I'm really excited to stitch it so um, this is Magic Forest and, and I'm never sure of quite how to say his name. Is it Ciro Marchetti or Ciro Marchetti? Um, so I apologise if I've got it wrong. But, um, but yeah, I, d I really like a lot of his artwork. But this one in particular kind of leapt out at me a little while ago now. And um, I think it was in Hayde's last sale that I bought this. Not the one that's just happened, but the one before that. So uh, I thought, yeah, I've just got to have it. And to start with, I bought it as the super size max color version. Um, and then when I got it and um, downloaded it onto Pattern Keeper and realized how massive it was, I thought it's gonna take me 20 years to stitch that. <laughs> so. I thought, blimey, unless I stitch on it, like, you know, and nothing else for the next kind of 20 years, I'll never finish it. Because um, in the Super Size Max Colour version, um, just to give you an idea, it is um, 999 by 714, 240 colours, of course, um, which is 718,000 plus stitches. And I just thought, yeah but I could do it probably but I, I would have to just give up every other whip that I've got so we're not doing the super size version much as I'd love to so I am going to do the regular chart um which I then went and, and purchased so um this one is a mere 401,250 stitches so it's still massive you know it's much bigger than unicorns that I'm stitching at the moment um, but it's not quite as bad as a super size one. So this is 750 by 535 and it is only 89 colours. I say only, but you know, 89 colours, well. So uh, anyway, it, it's such a nice picture. It's just such a nice picture and it's got so much going on and I love stitching animals. I, I just do. It's, you know, I love animals anyway, but um, so yeah, so that's Magic Forest and 100% unless something something even more wonderful comes along that is definitely going to be my New Year's start. So I would start it now but I really want to crack on and finish, not finish but at least get one of my full coverage pieces sort of quite a way ahead before I start something new. So yeah, so that's Magic Forest. So um, the next one I'm going to show you is something a little bit different. So um, this is the Stitch in Shells and it's by Galleon Across Stitch um, and she's on Etsy. So the reason I liked this one, it was the first chart that I bought that was um, monochromatic um, and I liked that. I liked the theme of it because I thought, you know, that'd be quite nice in my craft room with like 
sewing machines and just trying to find the chart now on my iPad. Um, yeah, so, you know, it, it looks quite a nice little chart. It's got, you know, the theme was appropriate with sewing baskets and all catchers and, and all that kind of stuff going on on it. Um, so, and I liked the border on it with the little spools going around the edge as well. So, um, I am going to stitch this. I've actually already got the fabric and the floss that I would use for this one. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to start it. I need to get a couple of finishes before I start it. So, uh, it is fairly big. So it's 245 by 247 high. Um, and obviously with this one you can stitch it in any floss that you like really and use any fabric that you want so so yes I, I do like that um, little piece and um, and Galliana cross stitch has some really nice charts actually I think she's got like a, a Victorian Christmas one um, as well that I really liked I haven't purchased it yet but it could be weighing its way towards me at some point. Okay, so the next one is a freebie chart. Uh, and this one's only a little chart, but when I saw it, it was so cute um, that I just had to get it. And it was a free one anyway, so why not? Uh, and I definitely will stitch this at some point. Um, so this is the Moo the Merrier, which is by the Blue Flower. Um, I already have a couple of the Blue Flowers paper charts. I'm stitching Tudor Bee at the moment. Um, and I really, really like her designs a lot. And I have every intention of stitching a lot more of her charts. So this one's stitched in Sulky Petite. And I've not stitched in Sulky before. And I know quite a few people uh, rave about their floss, so um, I thought having this little freebie chart was a good opportunity to try out some of the sulkies actually and see whether I like them as well. So as I said, it is a free pattern, it is still a free pattern because I have been and checked today for you if you, if you wanted to download it, if you haven't got it already, and you can get it from Hobby House Needleworks. In the um, show notes, I will put um, a list of um, where the designs were from and, and the shops. I, I still haven't sussed out how to actually do the link bit at the moment. Um, I'm not the greatest when it comes to technical stuff. So, um, so yeah, um, I, I will put the name of um, each of the places where I got all of these so that you can go and check them out for yourself if you want to. Wow, the sun nearly came out then. No, I don't think it's going to. The sky's really heavy with clouds, so. Okay, so um, next one we'll go back to full coverage. So um, I think it's highly likely that this one will be my next start from pain free crafts after i finished um, one of the two that i'm currently doing so this is carol singing mice again it's by chris dunn um, and like i say it's charted by pain free crafts um, and i really like this chart as a christmasy type one you know i just I'd, I'd have all his artwork everywhere, seriously, because his charts are just, well, his pictures are just great. They're just great and they're really good to stitch on. Both of the ones that I'm stitching at, at the moment, I love stitching on. Um, so I'm more than happy to do more, the, more of his. So this one is 450 by 350 and it is 155,250 stitches. So, you know... Compared to some of the Hades, these are um, a kind of much more realistic to do in, I would say, kind of 18 months to two years, really. For me, anyway, because, you know, I don't stitch monogamously, so I'm always going to have other things on the go. 
so that's that one so yeah that one i will start when i finish one of the two that i'm doing at the moment so the next one on my list number nine this is 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 um, Christmas Cake by Barbara Anna. Um, so I haven't got that many uh, Christmassy charts and um, I do like Christmas. So uh, this one I got from Creative Poppy as well. And, and I just really liked it. And, and I hadn't got any Barbara Anna designs um, and I do like her charts. I, I like the Frida ones that people have been stitching actually and um, and I was tempted <laughs> um, to get a couple of those as well. I haven't at the moment but I, I can see those coming along in some haul at some point. So um, I, I bought this one quite recently um, when I went on a bit of a um, a Christmas chart shopping spree basically so this one's 86 by 149 so it's not massive um, which you know is just as well with some of the size of the pieces I've got uh, and it is charted in DMC so that's Christmas cake so the next one is uh, another freebie And again, it is still available. I did check the other day and it was still available uh, for you to get if you are interested. So this one is a traditional sampler and it is Mary Jane Fry, 1861, uh, by the Solitary Stitcher. So I think Hedgerow Stitching um, showed this one and I really, really liked it. Um, and she showed it quite a while ago now and I thought oh it's a free chart I think I have to have that so so I went to the solitary stitchers um, website and um, and downloaded it then it really is a nice chart so it's 190 by 270 and it's charted in DMC and like I say it's a freebie so why wouldn't you so, so that's uh, Mary Jane Fry. So for the next one, we move away from our samplers and we go back to Pain Free Crafts again. And now I'm going to surprise you now because this one's not by Krista. So um, this is Analog Sound and it is by Marine Loop. And like I said, it's charted by Pain Free Crafts. And the reason I bought this one is I think it's such a pretty chart. Really pretty. Um, and I loved the colours. And uh, and I, I thought, I've, I've just got to have it because I just want to stitch in those colours. <laughs> so, uh, and it is just pretty, isn't it? So, um, it's... Uh, it, it could go in my bedroom actually because my bedroom's done out in like duck egg blues and um, and it would go very well I think so um, yeah it's 179,000 stitches in 60 colours this one and uh, it's 358 by 500 so yeah when I first got this one as well and th this is just to say how helpful um, pain free crafts are actually so um, I bought this chart quite a while ago now and when I downloaded it it wasn't pattern keeper compatible so I got in touch with Sarah at pain free crafts and um, and she very kindly recharted it for me so that it was pattern keeper compatible so thank if she's watching this thank you very much Sarah um, much appreciated so it does now you know all of pain free cross if you do get a chart from them that doesn't go on um pattern keeper they will redo it for you so that it will which i thought was really good service so yes so that's analog sound so the next one is another freebie um, and it's a very small stitch this one so um i can't remember whose floss tube I was watching but they showed a couple of charts by the little stitcher and um, 
so I just had to go and check her out and she had this little chart called Christmas Light and like I say I, I, I kind of went through a bit of a um, a bit of a thing where I, I wanted to um, collect some Christmas charts because I hadn't hardly got any so this is only a small one I thought it made quite a cute little pillow so this is 49 by 74 it's charted in DMC and you can get it from the Little Stitchers website so which again I, I will put below so the next one um, we're on number 13 now so we are going back to pain free crafts again um, so this one again is not a Chris Dunn chart so this one is Wolf Mates and it is by Jakara um, I like wolves I really like wolves a lot um, some of you may remember from my first video that I have got a wolf um, whip which is a dimensions chart which I kind of put away um, as a UFO. It may come out again actually at some point because now I've learned how to do French knots. Part of the reason why I stopped stitching it, well two reasons. One was it was covered in French knots and at the time I just couldn't get the hang of doing them. Um, and secondly, some of it was stitched in half stitch and I was a bit put off by the fact that I'd done my half stitches in a different direction to my full crosses. So, so I put it away. Um, but now I'm more confident of doing French knots, I might bring it out again but I was stitching that particular one for my sister because she loves wolves as well so um, yeah I do, I do really like this chart and I think it's quite simple looking um, you know in that it's kind of black and white really um, and it only has 23 colours in it this one but I do like it it is 400 by 346 um, I forgot to look actually to see um, how many stitches that one is. Uh, I'm not sure. So, but anyway, that's Wolf Mates. So the next one, um, so we're moving away from full coverage again and going back to samplers. So, so this sampler, I saw this. Um, I just happened to be browsing their website, saw this particular sampler and thought, yeah, I, I really like that. I've got to have it. So I just want to try and find a picture of it here so you can, un you know, what I particularly liked about it. So I, I, <laughs> I, I really like farm animals. I really like sheep and and you know this one's got rabbits on and, and all that kind of stuff so it was actually the the sheep that attracted me to this particular chart um, I like chickens as well as some of you know um, so uh, so yeah so with this one I, I bought it because of the sheep really <laughs> but I did do like the rabbits and there's a couple of like peacocks on there and um yeah it's a really cute chart well this one um is called cherry garden and it's by twin peak primitives uh, it's the only chart i've got of theirs at the moment so this is 167 by 248 and it is charted in dmc so yeah i, I do really like that chart and um can't wait to stitch that one at some point not in my plans at the minute but However, it will be at some point. So number 15 in my chart list, and like I say, these are not in any order of, you know, number one being the top and whatever. Um, they're just how they came out of my iPad. So this is a freebie chart. This is 100 Owls by Owl Forest Embroidery. Um, and I first saw this chart because um, Evelyn across the pond showed it um, quite 
a long time ago now and she is stitching it at the moment and I liked her so much and when she said it was a freebie chart I thought oh, well I might as well get it then might and I and actually it was my first um, visit to Al Forest Embroidery um, and I have been back and purchased from them since so but uh, yeah I do like this chart I like owls I like all animals really but preferences yeah I do, I do like owls so um, I thought yep I, I might as well have that so it's um, 227 by 258 and it is of course 100 owls and um, I think Evelyn's changed hers about a little bit so she hasn't um, I don't think she's kept all the owls exactly as it's charted on hers um, but yeah I thought that that's quite nice I, I might start that at some point and yeah it's in DMC or you can purchase the floss from um, our forest for that one so moving on to my next one and um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this one right so this is a Michi Perla Pasca which is by Crochet A Go Go and um, I Crochet Go Go has a shop on Etsy and she's got some such pretty cutesy patterns. So um, those of you who regularly watch me know that I am stitching one of her patterns at the moment, which is Cœur de la Lavande. Um, her patterns are really nice to stitch up. Uh, I purchased this one because I, I really want to start making some pillows. And this one has got three really cute little pillows on it, as you can see. So we've got the chicken. Obviously, I've just told you I really like chicken. So that one is 61 by 69. It has a rabbit. Uh, again, I like rabbits. So that's 77 by 69. That's the biggest one of the three. And then it's got a dove, which I thought was really sweet. Uh, and that's 57 by 84. And again, her, the, all these three are charted in DMC. Um, there is another little tiny pillow, which you may have seen on the picture as well, which hasn't got an animal on it. And that's really tiny. I think it's only 30 something by 29, 37 by 29. It's really small anyway. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I really like those. And my plan is that when I finish Cœur de Lavande, I'm probably going to start stitching one of those little pillows next. So, so yeah, so that's that one. So next, so at number 17, we have a, another full coverage piece. So this is um, Little Jack Horner which is by Chris Dunn, <laughs> artworks by Chris Dunn, charted by Pain Free Crafts. This one is uh, 159,200 stitches and it is 398 by 400. And I have to thank Lauren Flossibilities for this one. Uh, she showed it, I think, on her last video. Um, and I liked it so much and I thought it was really wintry stroke Christmassy. Um, so of course I had to wander over to Pain Free Cross and go and buy it. So thanks Lauren. So um, yeah, so I'm not planning on starting that one yet. I, I would, I want to do the carol singing mice before I do that one. So, but yeah, I do like it. So the next one I am going to show you is Uh, heaven and earth design so this is mini this is a mini it's mini reading time and it is um, artwork by Randall Spangler so this one is 105,625 stitches and it is 90 colors um, size wise this one's around square around square I don't know Muppet seriously so this one is a square it's 325 by 325 um i really like randall spangler's artwork um 
I like the fact that so I am doing mini so many books so little time at the moment and um, apart from the fact that I really like the cutesy dragons um, his colours that he uses are so vibrant and I do like bright colours to stitch with so um, so yeah I, I'm, I thought I've, I've just got to buy another Randall Spangler so that's my mini reading time don't know when I'm going to start that one not, not got a plan for that at the moment so yeah there's some time you know that's some time whenever I feel like it I'll, I'll start it so the next one moving away from full coverage so number 19 on my list this is um, White Christmas And it is part of the Colours of Christmas series by The Little Stitcher, um, which I bought off of her Etsy shop. So, you know, I, as I was just saying to you with the Crochet A Go Go one, I really want to start some little pillows. I've got quite a few, I've picked up along the way um, some quite nice backing fabrics to do, to put with some pillows. And I've got um, some quite a lot of oddments of fabric where I've been making project bags and things that I've saved um, specifically to back some little pillows with and I've got quite a lot of trims I've got some little pom-pom trims and things a few of which I've bought from Lady Dot Creates some of which I've just bought from various um, online um, sewing shops so um, and I've not made a little pillow before I think my first one's going to be my lavender heart that I'm stitching at the moment, which I want to make into a little heart pillow. Um, but yeah, so I intend to follow Vonna Pfeiffer's pillow tutorial. Um, and if mine come out anywhere near as good as Michelle McGraw's, I'll be very, very happy. So because her pillow finishes are just brilliant, just amazing. I so want a dough bowl so want one to display things in <laughs> so but they're not really a thing in the UK so um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get one or whether I could get um, a woodworker to make me one so um, so yeah so that's White Christmas so um, my Christmas theme for my Christmas ornaments if you like on my tree and things like that is um, a real pale icy blue and white and silver so I thought if I stitch my little pillows in white they'll go with my Christmas decorations so so that's those and again I'd quite like to start those sooner rather than later um, so yeah the little stitcher she's she's got some really nice patterns I, I could have gone wild with buying patterns actually in her shop so yeah really like her designs so um, number 20, my next one is Primavera in Sita, I think. Um, my Italian is not very good, as you can tell. Uh, beautiful language, but I can't speak it. So it's by Crochetta Gogo again. This is a bigger piece by her. So this one's 237 by 266. It is um, charted in DMC and I think it uh, means spring in the city in, um, in English or something like that. But again, I, I liked this chart. I bought it because it's really quite cutesy. Um, it's got quite a lot going on with it. So I really like it. Don't know when I'm going to stitch it, but I, I just bought it because I liked it. So... So that's that one. So my next one is um, a Heaven and Earth design. So we're back to full coverage again. So it's a mini. This one is the Spirit of the Pack. So another wolf design, uh, which is the artworks by Donna Gelsinger. Um, it is charted in 89 colours and is quite small for a hade. It's 78,975 stitches um, and the finished piece is 243 by 325 
Um, you know, the reason I bought it is because it's wolves. Um, and I, I just really want to stitch it at some point. Again, it's not top of my list to stitch, but, you know, it's there if I want to pick it out and stitch it. So that's that one. Then my next uh, one that I'm going to show you. So number 22 is um, another Heaven and Earth design. So this Hade is another mini. Um, it's ye, ye Old Craft Room, um, which is by Ciro or Ciro Marchetti. Um, I bought this one and because you know it was along the lines of the craft room theme where I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to get a few sewing type patterns to stick in my craft room. Um, if I'm really honest. I'm probably not going to stitch this one. This, it's nice, but it's not something that I want to spend a few years stitching or a couple of years stitching. Um, it's seventy three thousand seven hundred seventy five stitches. Um, it's not something that I'm going to spend a long time stitching. It doesn't give me the wow factor like some of the other ones that I do have do really. So it's a very long way down my list and. I would think in my lifetime I'm probably not going to get around to it so but you know it is a nice picture um, it's just going to be too time consuming for me so that's that one um, so next one so moving away from full coverage again and back to uh, regular patterns so number 23 is the Salem Trials from it's Salem Trials the Witch Hunt by the Little Stitcher. Um, now I, I I really want to start this chart. I really want to start it. Um, I don't know whether to start it come coming up to Halloween actually. So the reason I'm really keen to start this one. Um, I've got, I'm really interested in the Salem Witch Trials, really interested in it. Um, and I think I've seen um, a quilt pattern actually with something very simple, which has got all the Salem Witches on it. And um, not that I'm going to do a quilt, but I saw that quilt pattern and thought if I was going to make a quilt, that would be the one. Seriously, it is such a nice pattern. I don't know what it is about the Salem Witch Trials, but they I'm really interested in them. They really fascinate me um, and I'd like to know a lot more detail. So much so that um, I, <laughs> I booked back in 2019, pre-pandemic, um, I booked a trip to Boston um, for October 2020 not realising at the time that, um, you know, the pandemic was going to happen. So um, I was going to go with my son and daughter-in-law. We, we quite often take a little trip to the States during normal times. Um, I was going to take my son and daughter-in-law to Boston because I hadn't been before. Um, um, because Salem is quite near to Boston um, and I'd booked to go in October... Uh, you know, I thought we could do kind of a trip out to Salem and, and, and just kind of have a look at where the witch trials were and that kind of thing. Um, that trip was postponed, obviously, because we weren't allowed to travel anywhere in October last year. And I rebooked it for October this year, uh, which, you know, there's a big question mark over that now. Um, I'm kind of leaving it until sort of the end of August to make a decision about whether to but I don't know whether I'm going to postpone it or just have an open t open airline ticket and book something different for next year uh, I don't know I, I'd booked an, an Airbnb a, an apartment in Boston for um, the six days that we're there and the guy who owns the apartment very kindly let me just move it to the following year um, but I, I do think, you know, is it mucking him about a bit to move it again to the following year? 
Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, and I'm rambling off subject. So, um, so yeah. So you can tell. I'm I'm really interested in Salem witch trials. So uh, that's why I've got that pattern, um, and I really want to stitch it. So it's 142 by 199. So it's not massive to to stitch. Um, it's uh, charted in DMC. And I do want to stitch that sooner rather than later. Okay, so moving on then. So number 24 is Quinto Acuto. So or the pointed fifth, um, which is the latest chart by Long Dog Samplers. Um, and I think I said to you recently when I showed you the long dog that I'm working on at the moment that I'll probably always have a long dog on the go and um, I saw this chart I think Crafty Emily showed it actually um, and I thought yeah that's my next long dog <laughs> that one is it so the reason why I liked it so much um, so the pointed fifth, for those that don't know, is, is an archway that you get in pretty much every cathedral architecture. Um, but the, my big um, wow for this chart is the loads and loads of animals in it. And there's loads. There's all sorts in it. Um, and I thought, oh, that's just going to be such fun to stitch because, you know, each little animal is a little surprise. Um and uh, I think it's Julia from Long Dog Samplers actually says in the commentary around the chart, um, you know, if you like stitching critters, you're going to love stitching this. Um, and she did say there's a, a hidden octopus in it as well called Maisie. And I thought, oh, that's it. I'm buying it. So, <laughs> so that is, a, I think, my most recent purchase, actually. So you're getting a bit of haul from me today as well. So yeah, it's 353 by 352. Um, and I I'm going to work on my current long dog a bit this afternoon because I really want to crack on with it now so that I can start the pointed fifth. So yeah, so that's that one. So my next chart is um, another full coverage chart. So um, this one, though, for a change, is by Tilton Crafts, and it's called Gamblers. And this time it's um, a group of owls play, doing a bit of gambling, playing dice. Um, and I, I like owls, um, as I said before, with the Owl Forest embroidery one. Uh, and I saw this and I thought, um, yeah, I, I, I just need to stitch it. So... It's got 75 colours in it. It's um, 400 by 400. Um, so it's quite a big piece. Um, I don't know when I'm going to stitch it, but I do really like it. So, um, so yeah, that is actually on my radar to stitch that one because I haven't stitched anything by Tilt and Crafts before. So um, I'm quite interested to see what they're like. So we're coming near the end, you'll be pleased to know. So number 26 is Time Dragon Scarlet Rose. Which is a heaven and earth design. This is a regular chart. It's the artworks by Rose Khan. Um, this one is big. It's 257,400 stitches. Uh, it's 86 colours and it is 450 by 572. Now this was um, the second hide that I ever bought. Unicorns was the first, this was the second. And I actually kitted this one up. Went back on Heaven and Earth Designs and bought um, so many books, so little time. And at the time I thought, well which one do I want to stitch first and I decided on the Randall Spangler one so many books so this one got put on the back burner and as time's gone on and I've started picking up more things to stitch and I've discovered more different 
um, designers and that. Uh, I still like this chart, but it has gone down the list of when I'm going to stitch it. And I, it's not kitted up anymore because I've, I've started to use a lot of the DMC from it for other things. So... So that's Time Dragon. I may come back to it. And, and in actual fact, there's a whole series of those Time Dragons in all different colours. But I particularly liked the Scarlet Rose one. I thought the colours were really good. So that's that one. The next one is uh, Mini Christmas Tree Farm. Which again is a heaven and earth design. This one is by Donna Gale Singer. And this one is quite small in comparison. So this is 79,300 stitches. So it's 244 by 325. Um, and I, I was saying earlier, I like farmyard animals and all that kind of thing. And I like farms and um, I've got actually a f quite a few paper chart farm pictures that you haven't seen. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do a paper chart parade. Um, so yeah, I like stitching farms and I, I saw this one and uh, I thought, oh, Christmas farms. Um, I've seen quite a lot of um, hayed Christmas patterns and there's so many gorgeous ones. Um, but I, I did like this, it appealed to me, I liked the snowman on it, so, so I bought it. Don't know when I'm gonna stitch it, but I like it. Um, I think the carol singers, um, the Painfree Crafts one, would come before this as a Christmas stitch. So number 28 is Waterhole Guardians, which is the regular chart. This is by Jan Patrick Krasny. Um, and again, it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I think Dizzy Stitcher first showed this one um, and I liked it so much I, I went and bought it. Um, it's 280,625 stitches in 89 colours and it's 625 by 449. Um, I'm stitching Unicorns which is by Jan Patrick Krasny at the moment. I do like his artwork in actual fact. He has a few other designs that I'm quite keen to purchase and start. Um, so whether this one will get stitched, I don't know, is the answer. Question mark on that one. So that's that one. The next one, number 29, this is again a Hade. Um, now this one is definitely on my radar to stitch. Uh, I have got this one kitted, actually. So this is Mini Moonlight Serenade. It is by, artwork's by Laura Prindle, and like I say, it's heaven and earth. Um, I like this picture because A, I think it's really pretty, and B, I love horses. Um, so this one's 104,618 stitches in 90 colors. And with those colours, it uses, um, I think, almost all of the new DMC colours that came out. So, you know, the low number, sort of um, 15, 20, th those sort of ones, basically. It's lots of lilacs and mauves and greys, really gorgeous colours, which um, I saw somebody else's stitched up. I can't remember if it was on one of the Facebook groups and... Uh, that was why I bought it, because it just looked, wow, amazing. So um, this one's 362 by 289. Um, yeah, is, like I say, on my radar to start. So next one, and we're nearly finished now, guys. You'll be pleased to know. So number 30. Is, uh, again, a Tilton Crafts um, chart. This one's Book of Gnomes, Supper Time, uh, and it's 75 colours. It's 400 by 309. And the reason why I bought this chart is because it's got loads going on in it, and I thought it would be really fun to stitch. Um, I thought it was really cute. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of 
Chris Dunn's artwork in that not so much the artwork but just that it's got lots going on in it so you kind of want to stitch the next bit because it's got so much to keep you interested so I would like to start that one sooner rather than later but I, I am quite I, I try and be a little bit careful with how many full coverage I've got on the day go because I do want to finish them as well so that's that one um the next one I'm not going to show you every single picture um from these particular charts Um, you can go and look for yourself. I'll just show you a couple of samples. Um, so these are freebie charts um, and they are f called Joyful World by the Sunflower Diaries, which they're, flea, fr flea. they're free on her blog um, and they are the months of the year. And they're really cute and quite quick stitches. Um, I have seen a couple of floss tubers stitch these. I can't remember who exactly. Um, but they're really cute little charts um, and they're free. So, you know, why wouldn't you um, stitch them? So, uh, yeah, so they're from the Snowflower Diaries uh, and they're still available. So check those out. And then my final um, piece is one that I know lots of people have got. Um, and I do want to stitch this at some point. This one really appealed to me um, because it was kind of like pictures within a picture. So um, this is a stitch in time. It's by Amy Stewart. Sorry, I wobbled you then by accident. Um, it's by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth. And I felt... I needed to finish my chart parade with a haid because, um, you know, my first ever PDF purchase was a haid. I love haids. Um, as you can see, I do like um, other full coverage um, charts as well, but I do go back to haid a lot and <laughs> buy more charts. So um, this one's 87 colours, it's a big piece, it's 725 by 518 and it's 375,550 stitches. And like I say, I bought it because it's pictures within a picture. So again, I thought it will be really quite interesting to stitch because, um, you know, it would be, you'd feel like you'd got a little completion, wouldn't you, with each each picture that you do. So so that's that one so that's that's 32 charts that i've shown you and that oh my goodness i thought i'll probably do those in about half an hour and probably if i had just shown you them without nattering on about them um i probably could have done it in half an hour so um i was gonna especially for angela who's one of my viewers she said to me can you um do a fabric parade and, and it crossed my mind to do it at the end of my chart parade um not to show you every piece of fabric i've got you know not the boring ones like the plain whites and and things like that but i was going to kind of show you some of my fancier fabrics but i'm not going to do that now angela because i've been nearly an hour as it is but um especially for you i will do um a fabric parade at some point so I hope you enjoyed seeing my charts. I hope I've enabled some of you <laughs> um, as much as you guys all enable me with your, you know, if you've got a floss tube or if you're on Instagram, um, quite often my purchases are because I, somebody else has popped, popped them up and show me their, their one and I thought, right, that's it, I've got to go and get that. So um, I just wanted to wish all of my subscribers in the United States a very happy Independence Day for Sunday. Um, I hope you all have a lovely day um, and the weather shines for you uh, and whatever it is that you're doing, uh, you really enjoy yourselves um, and have a great celebration. Um, 
so I am off on holiday next Friday. Um, we are going to Wales. It's the first time I've been back to Wales for two years. Um, and I really can't wait. I can't. Uh, I've told you all before, I'm going to retire there in a couple of years' time. So this year we're going to West Wales. We're going down to Pembrokeshire. And uh, and I, I just can't wait. I'm really looking forward to a holiday. Really looking forward to getting away. Uh, my dogs are going to be delighted because they love the beaches in Wales. So um, don't care what the weather's like. Doesn't bother me. I shall take a mix of um wet and dry clothes so we shall see anyway i will be back at the end of july with my regular floss tube and um i think i forgot to mention in my last floss tube that i will announce the winners of my giveaway in my next video so you if you haven't entered that you've still got a few weeks to subscribe um i've already got quite a lot of to show you in my next video um so anyway uh happy stitching everybody and um i look forward to seeing you all soon bye for now